how far you're going? About 30 years. Back to the Future was a film released in the 1980s. It's one that stuck with me throughout time. It's one that, even through the evolution of me growing up, it's one that's always been something I've loved. As a kid, I enjoyed it for the cinematic aspects, for just the crazy visuals, and to see Biff get punched in the face by the nerdy kid. You know, to believe in something greater than myself, to believe that good can overcome, to believe that the nerd could actually win the girl. You know, as a kid, I loved that. But growing up, my love for the movie changed and evolved. I started to understand the cinematic aspects of it. I started to understand, you know, the, the, how the soundtrack affects the feel. How seeing Marty McFly and jam out to Johnny Be Good can help bring just excitement to the story, help bring energy into the transition in that moment. You know, movies have the ability to make us think, to make us feel, to make us question the lives that we lived. The feeling that I gained from watching Back to the Future made me believe that I can overcome things no one believed that. I could, you know, as the nerdy dad of Marty McFly punches Biff in the face and gets the girl. And no one thought he could be with that girl. That girl wouldn't even give him the time of day. But he overcame and he won. And in my life, that rings so true to me because I was able to believe as a kid and even today that we can overcome the things that we go through. But we have to fight and we have to be willing to stand up in the moments that are the hardest and say, you know what, no, I'm gonna fight for this. Cause he could have just walked away when Biff said, told him to get lost when he walked up to the car, but he stayed and he fought and he didn't just stop. He fought for what he loved. He fought for what he wanted and he did. And through that, he was victorious. And those are the kind of the things that I get from that. And even though I might not be changing the fabric of time, I still learn to value the people that are in my life and the moments that I have because time is fleeting and I can't go back in time and relive those moments. I can't go back and fix the things that happen. But what I can do is enjoy the moments that I have and fix the ones that are to come. And those are just like the things from that movie that have changed in me since watching it. It's like powerful and it's great. And I love how this movie, how it captures those feelings, how it captures those emotions of energy and excitement and comedy <laughs> all these different moments you see this up and down up and down constant flowing thing just like Nancy Duarte talks about in her book where we have to be able to capture the audience with comedy but keep the emotion there we have to be able to engage and make them question but then answer and we have to have that back and forth and, then, and I feel like Back to the Future for me has always had that that's one of the things I've loved so much about it. But as I've grown, the thing I've loved is how much this movie has grown with me and how much my understanding of this movie has grown. You know, and the one thing that doesn't change over time as I've changed is that I always know that when I watch this movie, I can overcome the things in my life. And that's the big underlying theme of this movie for me. That no matter what happens, you can overcome it. You can do it. And so that's what Back to the Future means to me.